Right guys, I brought the car in from the wash tent. We've got this glue residue that's left over from when I pulled off the film, which you would have seen in the first video, the transport film. So before I use a tar and glue remover, I've got to set up a little demonstration for you. What we've got here is a sanded down panel. You may be able to see that it's all sanded as matte. So this is cutting compound that's not been wiped off. We've got compound and a cleanser on this surface and you can actually see the sanding marks, the regular sat pattern there. Then we've got compound, cleanser and a spray wax. So again, it's getting glossier and deeper. We have compound, cleanser and a spray sealant. Notice the spray sealant isn't actually quite as good. So if I bring the light away, you can might see it's got more of a dull patch and sanding patches. Then we've got a favorite, super resin polish, and it's more dull. Then we have the standard sanded panel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly take this tape off so we can remove these sections. I've put this tape on, it's like a control area. So, and now you can see the filling effect of products. Some of these products are not your sort of detailer's favorite products. Some of these products are actually just body shop products. So we have body shop products, we have detailing products, we have high-end, very expensive boutique products on here, and then we have low-end. So we're, we're talking about sort of brands that make thousands of pounds of, per pot of wax, down to a brand that makes 10, 15 pound a pot for wax. So, oh, you always get one bit of masking tape that's gonna be tricky to get off, but it's gonna go. So what we got, is you can see we have a little demo set up here. So what I'm gonna show you is, I said in the first video, the one where we was walking around doing it, we called the inspection video. We talked about how this car will look worse up close with the right light sources. So yes, the car looks shinier, it looks cleaner, because it's been washed. But so before I take that glue off, with a glue remover, a degreaser as such, a little glue patch. I'm gonna use this similar products, well actually the same products on this area here. So before I um, remove these products, and I know I'm gonna be able to remove them, I wanna show you a little, little demonstration of don't be fooled by detailers putting up pictures of reflection shots of cars and showing that they've corrected the car. So I'm sure you can see there that there's actually a very, very good reflection shot that probably shows no swirls. I say from this angle, I can't see, I'm not the cameraman. So it's, it's always a trick of the eye and it is a smoke and mirror thing that unfortunately, none of these panels are obviously corrected. We've managed to see swirls or should we call it sanding marks on all those strips. Again, I'm gonna quickly show you that I can see it very clearly. Let's come in close and let's zoom in on one. Let's zoom in on a sort of a wax a body shop compound. So there you go, there's a real horrible haze, but of course it's much better than here and it's much better than a control panel up here. So what people don't realize they're doing, they're actually rubbing on products on their car and what it's doing, it's masking, called, we, I call it makeup. It's not removing the swells, it's not even correcting the swells, it's actually just makeup. So washing your car on a regular basis will wash this down. Sunlight, the UV light, the high temperature will make this sweat and wear away. So it sweats away. You can have, someone might wash their car with like very wet liquid, that's gonna wash its way quicker. You might wash your car with a top up spray, which actually keeps maintaining this, but essentially you have dull paint underneath. Detailer's favorite, medical alcohol, 100% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, this is 99.9% .9 alcohol, mixed 50% with deionized water, distilled water. So what I'm gonna do, because this is apparently what helps detailers evaluate their work. So I'm gonna do a strip through the edge here. Now, if this does its job thoroughly, what should happen is this control strip will all turn the same. So this will end up like the control strips. But let's see. So you notice already it's managed to remove most of the compound. There's still a line there. But as soon as you come to the ones where it's got products on top, especially some waxes, it's hardly removed the fillers. So why am I showing this demonstration? This, this car here, if the dealer, in this case hasn't, 
If the dealer had PDI prepped this car and then sprayed the potion and lotions all over like this, and in a detail it goes up and looks at their car, they're evaluating how much work's needed by the lack of swells because of all the makeup from all these products, all these spray waxes from these compounds. More importantly, we saw in the first video, we had some sanding marks and buffer trails. Those buffer trails and sanding marks will look a lot worse once we remove the makeup. We need to remove the makeup because we're doing surgery. We're doing like a, almost like a facelift, as you'd, we could joke about. We're actually doing a chemical peel of the top layer of the paint. We're not removing just the makeup. So, but what we need to do is remove the makeup now. This is tar and glue remover to evaluate how bad the car is. So through the middle, I'm now gonna use tar and glue remover. Very, very common brand. Again, I'm not trying to pick on brands here. It's just facts. It's just literally the basics of what we do here and actually help educate. There's a lot of detailers that probably aren't completely aware of this and these facts. So you notice it's an oilier product because it's meant to dwell there longer. But already you can clearly see there's been a vast improvement, if you want to call it an improvement, of how much has been removed. That is getting close to that stri them stripes. So there's the control strips again that I've never had a product on. These are all layered and bear in mind I've polished all by hand here. I've just rubbed on by hand, no polishing by machine. IPA, which is the industry standard, still people quote that they've used alcohol, has not removed the makeup. So more importantly, this is compound only. So let's come back down to this one. That's a net, that's compound. If we polished a car and then IPA'd it, you can see there's still a filling effect. This has not removed all the fillers. So our preferred method and product we use for removing every contaminant from the surface after using, say, a glue remover would be Gitanix panel wipe. So I'm going to demonstrate on the last strip. It's a bit obvious what's coming. I'm going to use Gitanix panel wipe and run through this last strip here. And you can see it's going to flash much faster. It's a more volatile product. And clearly, out of the three strips now, I could wipe it dry. It will dry on its own in the end. Let's wipe any residue off. Any it'll help it dry. So, there's a little thing that's happened here I can show you and explain. Can you see there's a darker patch there and then there's this dull patch, there's a darker patch. That's actually the product, what I call fillers, the oils, has been lifted up and I've spread it around. So any panel wiping you do, especially if you're into paint shop, you should always panel wipe twice. And what you do, you panel wipe, then wipe it really quick with a second cloth to remove the residue. So I'm gonna use it again for the second time, just remove all of that final residue. Because you're actually removing it, you're lifting it off the surface and then you're spreading it back around. So what you should do is turn the cloth very quickly and wipe it dry. And now you'll see it'll be cleaner. So more importantly now, they are pretty much exactly the same as the control strip. What does that tell us? That all of these patches here and squares, none of them have done any real correction. None at all. They're all just makeups. And the amount of people that are polishing their cars with polishers, not polishing correctly and leaving this car looking shiny and black, and then a week later it's dull. So detailers are also caught in this. They're not actually correcting the car. They're 50% correcting the car maybe, 50% filling. So what do we need to do for correction? When we're correcting a car, we use geotechnic panel wipe all the way through the process to evaluate our work. And then of course, one last thing, you wouldn't want to put nano coatings on an oily, slippery surface. It won't bond. You want it on a squeaky, squeaky surface. Nice and dry, not slippery. So now the co coatings are going to bond. So we would only ever recommend that. So that takes me back to the whole purpose of this video. Very short and sweet. I'm going to wipe down this car removing glue residue before we do an inspection. So just quickly, you can see it's quite a volatile product or it can be a volatile product. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spray a light mist just gently over the whole cloth. I'm not going to flood it so much this time. No, it's very close so it doesn't spray on a car. And I'm just going to just gently dab and soften the glue. And I can see the glue going. I can get the light here to help. So it's already starting to take the glue away. You notice it dwells for quite a long time. And I'm just very careful with a lovely, flat, smooth surface, just teasing the glue off to remove that residue. I can always do it more. What I don't want to do is with a, a strong chemical as prod, push. I can turn the cloth and dry it and inspect it. So there's a, it's a little outline of the glue left, but the bulk of it's gone. I can do it again. And you can see, you can imagine how long this takes 
as a careful process. So yes, I could do this outside on the washing stage, but I've got wind blowing, I've got grit in the air. And I used to teach, well, sorry, no, early pupils, let's say early pupils that come to me used to like tell me they used to pump spray the whole car while it was outdoors and was washing it with a tar and glue remover. Well, that's silly because I don't want to damage the rubbers. I want to do it localized. So I'd always do it indoors with the right lighting on. It, it helps me just do the area I want to do. So what we'll do, that's most of it. There's actually still a build up there. It's actually quite a hard build up, but it's gradually going. The build up's going from now. So each time I wipe this, there's many methods. There's other methods I'm not going to show in this video of where we can actually apply a little like makeup pads, leave it sitting there longer. But for this idea, you get the picture of what I'm trying to achieve. So what I'm going to carry on doing, we won't see in this video, I'm going to go around all of the areas that's all got the glue marks all over it. Then I'm going to go around with IPA and panel wipe. So I've got all three degreasers to get the paint absolutely squeaky clean. Then it can be inspected and truly we know exactly what's wrong with the car. What needs doing, we can actually confidently say to the customer what's been done on the car, what's not. So it means we have to have the magic marker, Jay's favorite masking tape. So I'm going to pass this tape over to Jay is actually going to check this car out. <laughs> 